All right, let's take a look at some volume swells. Now, the idea behind the volume swell is exactly what it sounds like, right? We start quiet and we build louder. And it's a device that we use all the time in worship music. Um, it's great for kind of setting almost like an ambient pad. It's also great for just kind of if you have such a hard time not playing <laughs> at the beginning of a song, sometimes just real simple, light little lines are really helpful. Just kind of fill out the space and create a vibe. Um, so let's first talk about how your tone should be when you're working with a volume swell. Now there's variations, but generally you wanna have a long delay and some reverb just to really fill it out. And you wanna make sure both those effects are after your volume pedal. So if you've seen my, my tone lessons, uh, kind of looking at the way our, my board is built out, the, the pedal comes before the amp. So that, every, and, and it comes before all the other effects, so that that way it really, um, all the effects happen after that volume pedal. And so uh, here's what we want it to sound like. Real simple, it sounds really cool, right? So that long delay, I usually keep like something like a quarter note delay, as well as a good wash of reverb on it. Because if you take those off, you can actually get some kind of cool like reverse effects. don't put the effects on but the effects for you know for worship usually that's kind of the main thing that we're doing is we're just kind of filling out either single notes or just a couple little notes or even works well on chords and there's no real hard and fast rule on the actual feel of the volume pedal you want to kind of approach it artistically, right? So a lot of times when I'm swelling, you know, I don't just bump into it. You know, I usually kind of start slow and then speed up at the end. Also, you'll notice I always put a lot of vibrato on it just to kind of give it, once again, a little bit more life. Um, and finally, the, kind of the last tip I would give you is I like to really feel that volume pedal. Um, I don't like to just kind of like have my foot going kind of all willy in. I actually put quite a bit of weight into it. So I'll lean into the bottom of the pedal. feel like it just gives me more control and helps me kind of feel it out. Um, when you're doing volume swells with chords or, or with lead work, you know, one thing you want to be careful of is finding the right spot to hit. I usually basically just still play in rhythm. So I still land my chords on the, the beat that I normally would and then utilize the pedal to either bring it in fast or slow. So if it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. So see, I'm still hitting on the pattern. You don't want to go early. Like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Because you'll kind of lose it. You're much better off being a little bit late on a volume swell than being early um, because the chord hasn't changed yet. Whereas if you come a little late, it's totally fine. So. Just a couple little tips on volume swells. I hope you find those helpful and uh, get to it. We've got a whole lot of songs that feature them.